Hey guys, welcome to Be Your Learner. Today we are going to discuss HashiCorp Terraform with Azure. Here in this session, we are going to discuss how do you write your own infrastructure code in Azure with HashiCorp Terraform. I'm your host, Rakesh Suryavanshi. I'm having 13 plus experience in the IT industry. Mostly I'm interested in Azure DevOps. I do write code using Terraform and other tools available in the market. I hope the information available in this video is helpful for you to start your journey in the Terraform with Azure. Let's begin. To start the journey of Terraform, let's install some of the tools which we are going to use for this journey. For example, I am going to use the visual code which is one of the best IDE I have found since last year or so. So please do go to the website and download the visual code for your operating system. If you are using Windows, then use the Windows link. If you are using Mac or any other OS like Linux, then use the appropriate link for your own operating system. I am currently working on Windows 10, so I am going, I have already installed the visual code using this link. So you can download and install the link. This is the visual code which I have installed. Next, you need to install the Terraform. Currently, I, my video is focused on the Windows operating system because I am using the Windows. But you can follow the same thing the, on to your appropriate operating system that's nothing to worry the instructions are very clearly mentioned in the HashiCorp Terraform site so you can go ahead and download and install the Terraform this is the very interesting and helpful video I found I'll put the link onto the description here but you can follow this link and go through the instruction about the installation of the Terraform Once you install the Terraform, make sure on your Windows machine you are storing the Terraform directory path onto the environment variable. So you need to open the environment. Once you have installed the Terraform and the Visual Studio code, you can test the Terraform installation by writing the command terraform version. It should display the version which you have installed on your system like this. I have the Terraform version 0.12.2.28. It depends when you are installing the Terraform version. You should have the latest version which you have installed. Once you install Apart the Terraform, this, make sure in on your Windows Studio, machine you are storing the Terraform you can install directory path additional onto the environment variable. So you need to open the environment which will be helpful to support. For example, one of the mandatory tools which I have installed here is Azure CLI, Azure Terraform. If you are using with GitHub or Git, then it's must recommended you have the Git Lens as well. I do recommend that as well. If you want, you can install that one. For the indentation, I'm using the indent rainbow. That is again another one which you should install it. If you want to have a, a color, good color view, then you can go ahead and install this particular indent, totally optional. Nothing related to the Terraform at the moment. I'm just looking at some more one more important thing is the PowerShell. You can install the PowerShell. You need to install the PowerShell basically because uh, there are some Azure commands which you might require to run during the Terraform. Then it would be helpful to install those as well. Once you have the setup, you can go ahead and start writing your code. 